what's up? What's up? <laughs> Yo, hold on, real quick. My girl bought this Timberland coat. She said, babe, I got you a gift. And I was like, yes. I fucking love gifts. She bring me this Timberland coat, this bubble jacket. What y'all think about this jacket, bro? For real, real talk. Don't I look like fucking doo-doo emoji? Come on, man. She was like, yo, it's Timberland. I know y'all do that up there in New York. I said, yo, if I come outside with this, it's over for me. It's over for me. I'm getting hit by a damn truck. Anyways, that's not today's outfit. Oh, it got sexy. <laughs> it got sexy too quick for some of y'all. Um, it's story time. I'm excited. Uh, gonna tell you guys a little story. Now, this story is about the time me and my friend Tossie almost got killed. I felt like we was gonna die. But definitely on the, the time that we got scammed in Turkey. We almost got scammed. My very first time in Europe, actually, this was this trip. This was in 2013. I was with my good friend Tossi Rahim. Uh, we had just finished coming back from some time in Spain. We had the time of our lives over there. I'm telling you, like, it was just beautiful. The, the whole thing was beautiful. You know, we, we didn't really pay too much money to be there. But we just had a great time. Um, people was just singing in my ear, uh, Federico over here playing the violin in my damn neck, the, the ukulele, the guitar. Having a great time in Spain. Literally one of the best trips I've ever been on. Just me and him. It was like a honeymoon. You know, we was over there riding golf carts, playing golf like some damn superstars. Like the superstars that we are. And that's what we was doing. So we had a layover coming back actually in Istanbul. Istanbul. And this place was very, very interesting. For you guys who don't know what Istanbul is, go look it up. Have you ever seen Taken? If you have seen Taken, Taken Part 2, this is where it took place in Istanbul. It's nowhere to be fucked with. This is not the place you want to go to fuck around. Like, this is where they had his daughter running across the damn, running across the damn rooftops like fucking Spider-Man. Like, it's not the place to go to fuck around. And we knew that as soon as we got there. Why? We get there, everything is all gravy. You know, we go, we exchange some of our money. And we want to go check out this great city. You know, we want to go see what's up. We some tourists, we want to go see what's up. So as soon as we leave, uh, we're about to go to this place called Istiklal. Istiklal Street. Over there in Istanbul. The guy that's uh, handing us our tickets, basically, to go there. He says, hey, be careful. Do not talk to women. If women want to talk to you, they're going to rob you. And I was like, damn, what a welcome to this great city. You know, like I, I've never heard a welcome like that ever in my life. So we go to Istiklal Street. Street. We was kind of lost. We didn't really know what was going on, but we had about a 10 hour layover over there. So we wanted to get the best of our night. So we are there in Istiklal Street and it's, it's good vibes. You know, it's a lot of, it's like a big street. It's, it reminds me of like Jamaica Ave, you know, like a black party, but on Jamaica Ave, if you could imagine that. That's how it was like. Um, there was a lot of stores, uh, clubs, food, restaurants, just dope nightlife. A lot, of, a lot going on, and we was just looking for the nice spot. Hold on, y'all. This neck right here, I wish it was... I tried, guys. I tried to get this button up to come all the way up to the top, but... The, the length, but the thickness of my neck... It's just too much neck for this shirt. I need a shirt with more neck. Because it was choking me when I tried. Never mind, man. I mean, I think I look good like this. What y'all think? Thumbs up in the comments. Feel me? Let me know. Um, So we there. We just enjoying it. Like, we just checking it out. You know, getting... Because look, man. We from East New York, Brooklyn. It's our first... This is my first time in Europe. You know, like... I'm over there just enjoying, basking it in. I'm like, wow. Like, this dude is over here playing, you know great music over here on some straight like on some shoelaces like i don't know what's going on like but i'm intrigued i'm very intrigued by what's going on i'm looking around i'm hungry i'm smelling foods all different kinds of food but you know we had people selling like it looked like a fried boot like some this dude was selling fried boots and i was like, i'm not having no fried boots you know i look over and i do some mcdonald's and burger king as soon as i saw that i said yo we good here boy and we are good we are good. Do not worry. 
I said, Tossy, look at me, boy. We are good. Don't worry. Don't stress about nothing. McDonald's and Burger King is here. This is a friendly place. Where else we gonna find some Happy Meals, baby? That's what I told him, and he smiled at me. He believed me. So, now we just kind of, after we finish eating, we're kind of looking around because we, we have like around six, seven hours until our flight leaves. So we just want to look for a spot where we could just go, hang out, chill, maybe have a few drinks, you know, chill, have a convo with the locals, maybe play some dice. I was with whatever, you know, but I know that we had some time to spare. So as we walking down the street, mind you, it's nighttime now, it's midnight. We in Istanbul, Istiklal uh, Street. It's me and Tossi. This guy approaches us. This guy. He looked just like this. Right? Um, I don't remember his name. Let's call him Trevor. For whatever reason, let's just call him Trevor. I'm going to call him Trevor. And Trevor, he walks up to us. He goes, you guys, you guys want looking for nightlife? And I was like, um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, we just want to go somewhere. You know, we just want to look for like a... You know, a dope spot where we could just hang out, maybe have a few drinks. And, you know, just enjoy the scenery. And he was, his eyes lit up. And he got excited. So I got excited. And I was like, well, you know the spot? And he was like, yeah, there's a spot. There, let me get the accent. He said, yeah, it's this place right here on this corner. Follow me. So we, I am look at Tossie. I'm like, yo, let's just go. You know, like, what's the worst that could happen? You know, we good. Like, I got the double right hook. If anything goes wrong, you know, I could, I could put this man, you know, give him that NyQuil. So, we get to the spot where he's talking about. It's kind of a little bit off of the strip. And all I see is a bunch of mafia dudes outside. I don't know if there was mafia, but they had on suits. Full, like, tuxedos. Like, if they was coming from a funeral or something. Like, if you just came from a funeral and you're in front of a nightclub at midnight, you a damn assassin. Like... <laughs> Nah, you don't go to the nightclub after a funeral. You know, these dudes was dressed like straight mafia. Like, all of them had small pistols on them. Like, the little pistols on their ankles. Like, I just knew it. So, I see them. You know, they out there smoking cigarettes, talking their Turkish language. And I'm like, yo, that's cool. We're going to die tonight. Like, we're going to die tonight. <laughs> you know, like. But, at this point, we too deep in it to get out. Because we already walking past these dudes and about to get into the elevator. And I hear music like if there's a club somewhere nearby, but I didn't see it as soon as we walked in. And I was like, where's the club at, bro? He said, oh, we got to take the, um, the elevator upstairs. We get in the elevator. The elevator is small as shit. It's a tiny ass elevator. If, like when you're in the airplane, the bathroom, that's, that's kind of like the space of it. Like if you're in there with some people, like you grabbing, like somebody got their nut on your butt. Like that's how it, it's tight in there. So... As I'm in there, it's just me, Tossy, and, uh, what, what did I name this dude? <laughs> Trevor. Me, Tossy, and Trevor. Now, me, Tossy, and Trevor, there's no space in there. Like, we literally, like, shoulder to shoulder as if we're doing, like, some fucking ritual or some shit. So I'm like, okay, we're definitely dying tonight. Like, when this elevator opens up, we're gonna die. Somebody's gonna be on the other side. And we about to be in big trouble. Like, I just know it for a fact. We, but the first thing I really thought of was... My mom is gonna kill me. Like, when my mom finds out that I got kidnapped in Istanbul... She's going to kill me. So I wasn't even really worried about, you know, uh, uh, European gangsters tying us up and trying to give us for ransom. I was worried about hearing my mom on that phone call. Mommy... Mami, me agarraron estos tipos aquí, estos tigres de Europa. Si me tienen. No, mami, please. Please, no dejes que me matan, please. Porque yo no quiero un problema contigo, please. Y si me matan, me matan. Pero no me digas, papi, please. Porque me va a dar un correazo. So I'm already thinking the worst. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm dying. My mom is going to kill me. One way or another, this is not going to work out. Because the the te uh, the kidnappers, they're going to kill me or my mom is going to kill me as soon as they call up. Talking that, you know, <laughs> that Turkish. So, the door opens up of the elevator. And as soon as the door opens up, a rush of music comes. As soon as that door opened, Pitbull was playing. And I remember it was that 
Uh, bang, baka. Muevelo, muevelo. That was playing. I remember because he never sounded so good ever. It was a club and it was it was cool. Like it was good vibe. It felt good. Like it felt like a good nightclub. And I was like, alright, this is perfect. You know, this is the perfect spot. We could just come here, hang out, and chill. So as soon as we walk in, I see you know everything is kind of set up like tables, like VIP tables and stuff. And you know, there's some mafia men, more mafia men sitting down at the tables. They're just chilling. And there's like a stage area to our left when we sit down. And it's a small platform and there's a bunch of girls over there. There was maybe like 10 girls over there. They was all dancing. They was shaking it. They was getting down. All of them was dressed in very like Fashion Nova clothing. It wasn't like they worked there. But I know for a fact they had Fashion Nova clothing. Definitely 60% off after all of the codes. So me and Tosti we sit down and... As soon as we sit down, this waiter comes. Now, this waiter looks... He's a vicious waiter. Like, he's... He's ready to sell whatever is on this damn menu. And he's way excited for, for us to see what's on the menu. So, he hands us the menu. I don't see no prices on nothing. Now, mind you. If I don't see prices on nothing, boy... Boy. How much it costs? Why there's no price? What's the big idea? You know what I mean? Like, so, I'm then, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to have a drink, bro. I'm just here. I'm going to just chill. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to watch the, the, the Fashion Nova runway show, and I'm going to just chill. Enjoy the music. Pitbull, you know, Pitbull had it on turn. So, a guy, Trevor, he's actually there. He sits down with us now. So, it's not like he just brought us to the club and just let us there. Nah, he's there chilling with us. Like, if he's, you know, one of our buddy buddies. So, he starts talking to the waiter and goes, Goes over to Tossie and says, are you getting anything? And Tossie was like, yeah, bro, let's just have, you know, let's just have a drink. And I was, and he orders two drinks. And I'm like, boy, I don't want a drink. You have a drink, I won't. And he was like, what's the problem? I said, boy, and you can order, order a drink. I'm just chilling, you know. He orders a drink. The waiter looks at me and he says, come on, man, just one drink. And I was like, nah, I don't want a drink. Trevor now looks at me. And he's like, yeah, man, just one drink. And I'm like, I don't really want a drink, bro. Tossy now looks at me. He's like, boy, you acting like a real bitch. We in Europe. Fuck is wrong with you? You gonna have your ass a drink. And I was like, yo. What's going Like, yo, you working for them too? Like, you on the payroll? Like, you just clocked in? What's going on? Like, why you want me to get this drink so bad, bro? I don't want one. And he was like, come on, man. Just have a drink. I said, fine. Get get a fucking drink. But I know they're going to drug it. And I was thinking, if they drugged you and I'm still sober, I could carry your ass up out of here if anything goes down. But if both of us is drugged, we're assed out, boy. I weigh, I weigh, I weigh like 280 at the time. What you was doing with that? You wasn't deadlifting that, bro. I'm telling you. So I was concerned for our near future. Yo, I don't know where we at. I'm about to take some drink. I remember what it was that he ordered. I said, give me the motherfucking drink. Tossy over there uh, wor uh, working for these dudes. I said, give me a fucking drink, bro. Just give me it, man. Like, I'm thirsty anyway. Just bring me it. And we just both die. You know? Like, whatever. Just get it. So, I noticed the women that was dancing over there. They disappeared. I figured one of them had to go to the bathroom. They all went together as a herd. So I was like, alright, cool. I'm hanging out. Like clockwork, the waiter comes back with his greasy face. And he brings back our drinks, both of them. And I look at the drink and I was just very, very suspicious. You know, you just start... You start smelling the drink like... <laughs> I, don't know how, I don't know what kind of... How, how the powder or the drug would smell. But, you know, and mind you, it was a gin and tonic. I've never, ha I've never had that before in my life. Like, if he would have ordered some Henny, I know how Henny smells. You see, if you put anything inside the Henny, if you put a little drip of water in my Hennessy, I'm going to know it's watered. Do not play with it. But he's going to bring some gin and tonic. I don't know how that shit smell. That shit smell like poison. If you smell a gin and tonic, it smells like somebody drugged it already. So I was extra suspicious. I wasn't even drinking that shit. I was dipping my top lip in that shit like that. Just dipping my lip. The waiter comes. He drops off this, uh, this like a platter of like 
nuts, fruits, apricorns, berries, all kinds of, of sick ass fruits. Like it was just there. Nuts and fruits, the whole platter. There was some fresh green grapes on there too. And he brings our drinks and he leaves. And so now Trevor is talking to me. You know, and he's having, he, he speaks a little bit of English and he's looking at me and he's kind of like, he has, he's like, he's kind of like faking, enjoying like the music, but like this little, like if he's, like this little sitting down hop, like vibing to the music like this, like just these little shoulders, like just like a, wor a spine workout or some shit. Kind of like if he had a, like a itch on his back and he was trying to get it, like, but be subtle about it, like. So I'm looking at him and he's talking to me. He's like, you having a uh, good time, right? Having a good time? And <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, bro. Like, I'm having mad. Like, thank you for bringing us here. You know, like, and Tossy too. Like, we're just having. Now, me, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to be cool with this dude. Because if this dude, you know, wants to kill us, I want him to find some compassion. You know what I mean? So, yo le estoy haciendo el coro al tipo. Like, I'm just, everything he's saying, like, I don't even know what he's saying. You know when somebody say something to you, you just say, like, yeah. Are you guys, you guys having fun? You guys enjoying yourself? And I was just like, you crazy, bro. <laughs> he's just laughing it off. And he offered me a grape. And in my 22 years of living at the time, I've never, never in my life turned down a grape. From no man, woman, animal, spirit, never in my life turned down a grape. You know why? New Year's Dominican tradition, the Dominican parents will bring you some damn grapes. If you do not take one of them grapes, you're going to get smacked. You're going to wish you stood in the year previous to that. So I never turned down a grape. I said, give me one of them damn Turkish grapes. Them shits was juicy as shit. I was tearing them shits down. And as soon as I started tearing them down... I feel a presence to my right and I smell this this perfume and it's vicious and it smells like the devil honestly it smells sweet but it also smells like the devil and I look to the right and guess who I see this beautiful lady she looked like a damn news anchor like from T Turkish Channel 5 news like she looked like her parents had all kinds of power she had no business being five feet near me at any given time of our lives. Like, that's how this lady looked. She looked like that. I looked like this. Like, what are you looking for? What are you looking for in me? Like, do you want my money? Like, what are you really looking for? You know, like, <laughs> I got braces now. At the time, my teeth were sharp as shit. Like, I, I, I don't know what she was coming at me for, but she came. She sat down next to me. And another lady sat down next to Tarsi, and she looked just as beautiful. They look like they work for the news. They already know how those women look. She starts talking to us. She's being mad friendly, and I'm like, wow, this, the Turkish women are very friendly over here. And she's like, uh, where are you guys from? And I was like, oh, <laughs> shit, we from New York, feel me? <laughs> like, that, I'm from Brooklyn, you feel me? Like, I live in Queens now, but I was raised in Brooklyn, you feel me? Like... Brooklyn, baby, you feel me? And she was like, oh, that's very nice. You guys staying uh, staying the night? And as soon as she said that, she put her damn claws, her hands, her warm hands on my thigh. And as soon as that happened, I started fucking shaking. I started fucking shivering. I was <laughs> sweating. I was like, oh, shit. She put that devilish, seductive hand on my thick ass thigh. <laughs> it's fucking going down. But luckily, I've been through this before, man. I know when I'm trying. I know when I'm about to get got. Okay, like, nah, something's up. You know, me being a Dominican, I've been, you know, going to Dominican restaurants my whole life. When the waitress comes up to you. And they being extra friendly with you. It's not because they like your build. At all. It's not because she liked what you ordered. She didn't like the, the, the cheeseburger that you ordered with bacon. Like, nobody cares. She wants that money, boy. She wants that big tip. If your meal is $20, she want a $20 tip. So she gonna come at you with all kinds of loveliness. And she gonna say, mira... ¿Qué más te traigo? 
mi vida, mi amor, mi corazón, mi, prince, mi príncipe. Te amo. ¿Qué más te traigo? ¿Quieres agua con limón? <laughs> Tengo... And I've been through that before, and every time that happens, I give him this face right here. Like, look, lady, bring me the bill. You're going to get the, you're going to get a tip, but it's not going to be as thick as you want it. Come on. Don't force it. Don't oversell it. Like, I know. Come on, man. Look at the teeth. Like, you don't, you don't want it. Chill. Like clockwork, the server comes back. Now he's excited. He's excited for us now. You know why? Because we got the women now. He comes, he's like, oh, ho, ho, you guys. Okay, he's like, you guys, you have the ladies? Oh, it's party time now, right? And I'm like, nah, it's not party time, boy. Like, nope. I'm looking at him like, nope, it's not. And he's like, a uh, round of drinks for the ladies? You want a uh, ladies uh, drink, a good time? And I was like, oh, okay. I got this. I done figured this whole shit out right there. It just hit me. Wow, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Wow, it hit me like that. And I said, I know what's going on here, guy. Some sh something's going on here. These ladies working with you. Trevor over here working with you. The server's like, yeah, you want, you, uh, you want, you want to uh, bring lady drinks? Now Trevor's looking at me and he's like, yeah, man, you know, bring lady drink, you know. Good time. And I was like, I started to get heated. This is when I said, yeah, I know what's going on here. I got this whole shit figured out. He over here getting slumped and dealt with like some, like some sluts. You got news, the, the news lady over here grabbing on my thick ass thigh. Sex, sexual harassment. Is it not? So now I'm getting heated, you know? And I finally tell him, yo, nah, we not, we not getting no drinks. And the girl, she kind of looks at me like, oh, really? And I was like, nah, yeah, yeah. We got an early flight tomorrow. We not drinking. She's like, oh, so sad. And she left. Do not trust these women. If they only want to be your friends. If you sell alcohol. I mean, if you buy her alcohol. Go own a damn liquor store. Women, if y'all want so much damn free alcohol, go buy a damn liquor store. Take all that money and go buy a damn liquor store. Yeah, we done. So he brings us the check, and I was like, okay, I know uh, this, I can't wait to see the price of these drinks, Tossy. Each drink, $30. I looked at, I wanted to smack him. $30 drinks, and I spent it on one drink that I didn't even drink. I just dipped my top lip in it, because I knew, I knew what was in it. The devil. The bill had, my drink and his drink, it was $60, plus... The the walnut spread, uh, the fruit and walnut spread that Trevor had ordered. And I was like, yo, nah, take that off. Like, we not paying for that. We, uh, we paying for our drinks. Uh, go talk to Trevor about his drink. And the waiter was like, nah. Nah, you have to pay for the table. You don't, it, we don't split the bills here. I said, alright, cool, well, go get Trevor. Tell him to, you know, pay his 40, those walnut, those, those, those nuts, it was like $40. Those wal uh, walnuts and grapes was like $40. Now he wanted me to pay it. Because I had two or three grapes. Maybe like four or five grapes. I've never turned them down. But yo, that's some expensive ass grapes. You know how many damn grapes I could buy with $40, $50? Back home? Boy, I could start a damn farm with that shit. I could sell my own grapes. Start a wholesale grape business with that. You crazy? So now, the waiter's getting upset. He's like, yo, you guys have to pay for this. And me and Tossie's like, we're not paying for this. Like, you tried to get us, it's not going down that way. I don't know Trevor. You Do you know Trevor? And he was like, no, I don't know that man. You came in with him. I was like, all right, cool. So I was like, all right, we're going to go pay for our drinks. Uh, we're going to talk to Trevor now and see about his uh, nuts and grapes. Is there ATM here? He's like, there's an ATM downstairs. I'll go with you. We was like, oh, oh, oh all right, boy. He's like, come with. So... Now we get on this little ass elevator again, but now it's me, it's Trevor, it's fucking the waiter, and it's Tossi Rahim. Now all four of us is standing like shoulder to shoulder now in this little ass elevator. 
I was so furious that these dudes try to get us. I'm looking at Trevor. Tossy's looking at the waiter. And at that moment, I just thought, yo, it's about to fucking go down in this. <laughs> it's about to go. It's about to go down in this elevator. <laughs> like, we about to break this shit. Like, it's about to go stupid in here. And I just remember looking at Tossy, and he had this face. He was just. He looked like. <laughs> Bishop. He looked like he was about to. He looked like he was about to hit dude. It's about to go down. But I for sure thought, all right, this elevator gonna open, and that and that Turkish mafia is gonna be right there, and they're gonna have words for us. And I was like, all right, let me get this double. Let me get that double right hook ready. I said, yo, we're gonna go out. We're gonna go out like some grown ass men. We're not here for that. So <laughs> I'm fronting. I was dumb scared, but the right hook was ready. So we come out the elevator. Nobody's there. We chilling. We start talking to this man. And things is getting heated because we're not gonna pay for these nuts and and grapes that this dude ordered. That's his. He. I asked Trevor, the guy who brought us into the club to begin with. I said, "Do you know this man?" And he said, "Yes." So I said, "Oh, oh, really, waiter? Cause you said you don't know him, but he knows you." Nobody knows anybody. What's going on here? And then the guy, the Trevor, he corrects himself and he's like, Oh, no, no, uh, my English, English bad, English bad. I said, this fist is about to be bad, boy, because it's about to be in your damn esophagus. Boy, if you don't straighten up, figure out who knows who. Because I don't know nothing. All I know is I'm getting impatient. And Tossy was getting real impatient too. Tossy starts going off on this dude. He's like, no, we not paying for that. We paying for our drinks and our, and his drink and that's final. And this dude, the waiter, he he just knew that it wasn't happening with us. Like, other people, they could have got got. It was not happening with us. He said, fine, fine, fine. Go, go, get, get, get out of here. Give me the 60. Um, Go to the ATM. My 30, Tossy's 30, we pay him. And I remember Tossy had like five extra dollars. And he goes, here's your tip. And he takes the $5 and he puts it like in the shirt pocket of the waiter. And, and he was like, here, five for you. But he did it like disrespectful. Like he shoved it in there like. And the waiter, <laughs> you see him come. Yo, Turkish people, when they angry, yo, they look vicious, bro. Like his, you see his <laughs> fucking veins started spreading his neck. And he was just, but but he looked like he's just trying to keep his composure also, too. Like, so he was like, oh, no, 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 I don't need it. I don't need that. And I was like, boy, it looked like you need that, boy. Stop doing what you're doing in here. You disrespecting the, the universe. Stealing from people and making fine-ass women sit next to some thick-ass man grabbing on my damn knee. Making me sh uh, shiver and shit. I wasn't ready for that, man. I'm 22 years old. I was not ready for that. And I knew it was a scheme. So, we carry on about the night. And that's basically it. That's the time we almost got scammed. Just know that after that, we were very skeptical throughout the entire night. We was just like, you know, we were just ready. Like, I wish, yo, yo, I wish somebody else would say something to me on this street. On It's the Cloud Street. Sh show these motherfuckers my wrath. That's how we felt. And it was even got to the point where this little girl, as soon as that, as soon as we left that establishment, we was heated. Like, we literally was really heated that we even almost got got in that direction. And this little girl walks up to Tossie, and she was homeless. She looked homeless. She, she was probably, like, maybe, like, 11 years old. She was, like, wearing, like, some dirty clothes and stuff. And mind you, Tossie is heated. He says, yo, I'm not dealing with nobody out here. Little girl, like, comes up to him to bag and stuff. And as soon as she walks up to him, he looks at her, he says, fuck out of here. My damn soul shrunk. My soul got smaller. <laughs> my soul shrunk inside my body. That little girl, her face was like, and I look at Tossie, I'm like, yo, you a real savage. And I say, yo, all right, fuck it. I know for a fact you going to hell. Like, where there's a hell, you're going to it. 
Matter of fact, you overqualified for hell, boy. They're going to put you over there as human resource management or something when you go to hell. You overqualified for that little stunt you just pulled just now, boy. But we made it out of there alive. We here. I'm in New York City, baby. We made it, you know? But what would have happened if we would have been naive and just, you know, went there and just walked out, had seven drinks each? The worst part, though, would have been when the ladies came. And usually, you're young, you're a tourist, you know, you just want to get drunk. Beautiful lady comes, your main, your first thought is, yo, let me buy her a drink. You know, like, and if, you know, how friendly she was, she was friendly, boy. She was a diva. She was with everything. You could have been there, you would have bought... One, two, three, four drinks for her. How much is that? 30, 60, 90, 120, $120. $120 for like four drinks. No box guaranteed. You would have been in big trouble. Plus your drinks added up, you would have, it's real easy to rack up a $500 bill there is what I'm saying and you can't do anything about it. Plus you gotta pay for whoever invited you there, their drinks also. So. That was basically the scheme that happened to us over there. Now, I know people that's been over there also, it's not new. You know, that's a real uh, elaborate scheme that they have over there with the nightclubs uh, all over Istanbul. You know, Istanbul is a very beautiful place. There's a lot of great people there. But, like everywhere else, you're going to find schemes and scams. You know, that you have to really be careful of, especially when they see that you're a tourist. A tourist. So, we made it out. I'm sweating telling the story because I'm just remembering that that moment, you know, like it was it was like taken, like I was ready for ah, I was ready for war, but we made it out of there live. This has been the story time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions, comments, concerns? Don't put it in the damn uh comment box. And just because I love y'all so much, I love the people. I'm going to try to button this up real quick cuz I'm a gentleman. I'm a gentleman. I am a gentleman. I am a man of class. And I ain't no damn quitter. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all see that? <laughs> Look like a damn priest. That shit busting my Adam's apple. <laughs> she, Adam, <laughs> she gave me an Adam's peach. Alright y'all, till next time. <coughs> <coughs> <coughs>